On the way 10, the number of people living in Greenville County is growing, and that means the number of students in the state's largest district is on the rise, too. At tonight, Greenville County School Board took a step to address that growth. That's right, and Fox Carolina's Zach Perleski was at the meeting and explains what action the board took. Zach. Well, Arthur and Tori, this is the Long Range Facilities Plan Capital Improvement Program. Now, the school board voted unanimously to approve an update tonight, and every project you see with green by it, that's what's going to be impacted. This plan helps guide the district on when, where, and what to build. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. And with that, Greenville County Schools has updated its Long Range Facilities Plan to advance a number of projects that are already contained in the Long Range Facilities Plan. 11 projects ranging from brand new buildings to renovations to additions to schools, all having their timelines moved up. As the name suggests, the plan looks more than a decade into the future, but it's constantly monitored by the board. We review it and we revise it annually so that we're constantly watching growth patterns to make sure again that we're staying just ahead of growth in the county. Data the district has collected projects that as the population in Greenville County grows, the number of students in elementary and high schools will do the same over the next five years. That's a constant challenge as we continue to grow both on the building side and on the personnel side because every year we're adding personnel, particularly teachers, to accommodate student growth. As such, we're also having to add classrooms for those teachers to teach in. Now, there is no tax increase that comes with moving up some of these timelines. The board also voted to transfer $85 million from the general fund to the building fund to help pay for these projects. Now, we have a list of all the projects impacted in detail on foxcarolina.com. For now, reporting Zach Perlutsky, Fox Carolina News.